Yeah. Hello, yes, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, doing more research so that you don't have to. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at does it make any difference where your writing line comes from in the event of a capsize. Ooh. Now, to test the different anchoring points, I was gonna use my trusty scales but they couldn't quite take the demands of this experiment. So instead of the scales, um, we have assembled... Rudy from Scotland, I guess, yeah. Weighing in at 60 kilos. 64. Oh, 64 kilos. And Pia from Sweden, weighing in at 70, I think. I'm Angus from England, 80. Pros and I'm Joe from Joyrider TV, uh, a mighty 90 kilos or thereabouts. All these weights are rough. Okay, so we're going to start off by seeing how much weight it takes. We haven't got a sail up, how much weight it takes just to lift the tip of the mast from the ground. Uh, we're going to start off with the conventional writing line and we're going to start with contestant number one who is 60 kilo Rory from Scotland. Okay so all we're trying to do is lift the tip of the mast off the ground so Rory if you'd like to get on the rope go a bit lower if you can that tip is not coming off the ground Okay. Okay, so next we have Pia from Sweden. Very good stance on the rope there. You can see this isn't Pia's first capsize. Okay, with a bit of a bounce, the tip does come off, but only just. All right, thank you. Then we've got Angus, 80 kilos. And with a bit of a bounce, yet yeah, he's just able to lift the tip using the conventional writing line. And then I'm going to jump on in the 90 kilo class. Whoop. <laughs> and the tail flies away. So there we go, 90 kilos wins, I think, there. Okay, next I've rigged up what I believe to be called the Hawaiian system. This is really handy if it's windy and you don't want to have to get your writing line out every time you capsize. So this is actually anchored to the top and the bottom of the front beam and then taken back where it's going through a ring and it's held up out of the water using elastic. Very convenient, very quick, but how effective is it? Okay, so starting off with 60 kilos of Scottish Rory, you're Aberdeen Angus. Not a chance. That tip is not going anywhere. All right, so now running in from Sweden, we have 70 kilos of, uh, muscles. of, of muscles. But still, and again, barely. not a chance. That tip, even with the bounce and the leg up, is anchored. <laughs> now, no stranger to being anchored, we've got Angus, who you'd think would be the Scottish one, but no. With a bounce, just the tip, he's lifted the tip. There you go, you heard it here first. Um, and then... <laughs> 90 kilos, once again, tip is up a bit easier. So, 90 kilos, once again, as you would probably expect, winning. <laughs> okay, the next one, and this is in response to quite a persistent inquiry I've been getting, is what about if you tied an extension rope to your trapeze wire, so then it's directly pulling the mast. Does this make any difference? Let's get back to the lab to see what happens. Okay, and we've put the rope coming over the hull at the widest part of the hull for maximum leverage. So running in, we've got the Scottish ambassador of 60 kilos, the tip, not moving, not moving. That tip is down. Another fail for Rory. 
and then we got the Swedish technician. The tip is coming off with a bounce. Okay, then we've got, oh, we've got a collision. Um, we've got a tackle. Angus running in, looking at the tip. Yeah, we've got slightly more clearance from the tip with Angus. And then we've got the predictable result of 90 kilos coming in. Wet control. Once again, 90 kilos is winning. Okay, for the last one, and this has been another persistent inquiry, is what if we actually took a, a line to the top of the mast and then took that all the way down, chucked it over the hull, and we used that as a writing line. Will that make any difference? Okay, once again, we've passed that line over the widest part of the hull, and running in from 60 kilograms of Scotland, we have Rory. Am I doing it? Is it working? No oh. movement to the tip there. <laughs> then from Sweden, we have Pia in the 70 kilo class. I'd say slightly less effective than the last one. Disappointment there for Sweden. And then we've got from England, England, 80 kilos of Angus. Tip just bouncing out and then coming in for 90 kilos. A bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Easy. I think that's got it. How, I, how do I put it back? Okay. <laughs> Once again, 90 kilos seems to be heavier than 80, 70 or 60. So big thanks to the team. Rory, no disappointed. Pia, shows promise. And Angus. Glad. <laughs> okay so in conclusion there firstly the hawaiian system very convenient because you don't have to chuck anything over the hull or swim to the top of the mast to tie a rope round it um, very convenient but you don't get quite as much leverage which means if it's going to be windy and perhaps you're going to be capsizing quite regularly, like I don't know if that's what happens in Hawaii, but yes, it's a good idea and it's always there. You could just grab it and then when you're finished, you don't have to put it away. Easy. The other three, all exactly the same as far as I could tell there. Uh, the one difference was with the trapeze wire one and the top of the mast one, the line was coming over the hull a bit further back which is where the hull is actually a bit deeper, which will give you a bit more leverage. So the writing line coming from the front beam is going to be a little bit further forwards, so you're not going to get quite as much leverage, but the difference is very small. So in conclusion, in conclusion, don't bother with the trapeze wire or the top of the mast, go for either around the dolphin striker and over the hull, traditional, or the Hawaiian, if it's gonna be windy. Thank you very much. I've been Joe from Joyrider TV in the science lab, testing this stuff so that you don't have to. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe to Joyrider TV. If you're not yet subscribed, how could that be possible? Um, and thank you to everybody who's been supporting the channel. Do check out in the description below if you'd like to get on board and support Joyrider TV so these sorts of very interesting videos will continue to be made. Thank you very much.